Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And welcome to Emmanuel Lutheran Church this Christmas Eve as we uh, celebrate the special delivery of Jesus um, as a newborn babe in Bethlehem uh, as he has come to save us from our sins. Uh, so Merry Christmas to you. Uh, thank you for being here at our family service. And um, our uh, sermon tonight is a little different. It's actually a skit. Um, there's not many kids here, as I can see, uh, but we are all children of God. <laughs> so um, it, it will still be a, a wonderful thing. And uh, once again, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Our service begins with a way in a manger. Please rise. In the name of the Father, who so loved the world, he gave his only Son, and of the Son, who was born to be our Savior, and of the Holy Spirit, who brings to our hearts the good news of Christmas. In the name of the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Because Christ came to save his people from their sins, let us boldly confess our sins unto the Lord. Heavenly Father, we confess we so often walk in the darkness of selfishness and sin. We need the great light of Christ to shine upon us. We confess that we have worshipped the false gods of money, power, possessions, and pride. We need a Savior to deliver us from our sins. We confess that we so often have been hesitant to believe and rejoice in the Savior's birth. We need your Holy Spirit to quicken our faith and joy. We confess that we are so often overwhelmed by the sins and weakness of life. We need Emmanuel, God with us, his forgiveness and strength. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which is for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. He was named Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore announce unto you the forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. 
Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated for the hymn. The Christmas Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory to you, o Lord. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you, you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child, and all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, 
pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We sing, Angels We Have Heard on High. Oh, they're late. They're late. I hate to wait. I hate to wait. Where in the world are they? Theo, it's freezing. Why are you sitting outside all alone in the snow? You're going to turn into a popsicle. Aren't you cold? Oh, hey, Angelica. No, not really. I'm wearing my fur coat. I'm fine. Just busy. Now leave me alone. Hurry up, you lazy truck. Whoa, what's wrong, boy? You seem pretty down in the dumps considering it's Christmas. That's because I am down. It's been a rough day, and I'm in a bad mood. But that'll all be over soon. As soon as it gets here, anyway. I just can't wait any longer. But there's not much I can do. Ups is running late. What a day. What's ups? I just told you. Weren't you listening? No, I I'm lost. I'm waiting for a special delivery. A delivery? Oh, you mean UPS. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. But they're late. Did I mention I hate to wait? Where are they? What's really going on, Theo? If you want to talk, I'm willing to listen. Well, I'd tell you, but it's kind of a long story. That's fine. I've got some time. Besides, it seems like you could use a friend, at least for a few minutes, until your special delivery arrives. You said you've had a rough day. So what's going on? Well, it all started this afternoon, when I could smell all the delicious holiday food my master was making in the other room. Suddenly, I got very hungry. So I got up from my nap and went into the kitchen to beg for a taste. You know, just a little snack. Okay. But all I got was fumes. Instead, my master said, just wait, we'll eat a very special dinner soon. Well, that sounds fantastic. Not when you haven't eaten in almost two hours. 
and you can feel your frail and fragile starving body slowly but surely starting to fade and faint like a lonely Christmas lily withering away in the frigid winds of winter until every last petal has fallen victim to frost, ice, and the darkness of quenchless thirst and hunger. That's quite poetic, Theo, but don't you think you're being just a little dramatic? Not at all. I was wasting away to nothing. If only you had seen how thin I was becoming, you wouldn't have even recognized me. I was so hungry. I knew if I didn't do something soon, death would come knocking on my door and find no one home. Just a big old pile of skin and bones on the kitchen floor once called Theo. Actually, a big pile of skin and bones sounds really good right now. You know, my master was cooking his famous Christmas turkey. All right, Theo, so you were wasting away to nothing. Then what happened? Well, I thought to myself, really? Just wait? But I'm hungry now. I can't wait. Oh, no. What'd you do? The only thing I could do. I hopped up on the couch and ate an entire box of candy canes and some gingerbread men that my master had cooking, cooling on the coffee table. Theo, how could you? Not only did you not listen to your master, you spoiled your dinner. And the kitchen. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have thumbs, and all 12 of those candy canes were covered in plastic. So you ate the plastic? Then tossed my gingerbread cookies all over the kitchen. Oh, now, now I see. No, wait, there's more. Oh, really? Oh. Yes, silly, to the story. Okay, right, sorry, continue. Well, as you can imagine, I was pretty thirsty. Mm-hmm. But when I went to my dish, it was empty. Then my master said, just wait a minute and I'll get you some water. Yeah? So while my master was busy mopping, I started thinking, just wait, I'm thirsty now. There's no use in me sitting around moping and waiting for him to give me a drink. He's got enough on his plate already. So I just decided to help myself to a quick drink from the giant dog bowl underneath the Christmas tree. Theo, that bowl is not for puppies. I know, so I've been told, but it really should be. Anyway, my master must hold the record for world's fastest cleaner because he finished earlier than I expected and sort of startled me. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah, but not as much as the sound of all those glass Christmas ornaments that were smashing all over the place when the tree hit the ground. The tree fell down? My collar got caught in some branches when I was running away to hide behind the couch. It surprised me and was so loud. I just kept running around and around, but my collar got loose eventually. After that, I just barked as loud as I could for about 10 minutes. But at least we have some really nice neighbors. The people downstairs just kept calling my master over and over, probably to check up on us. Mm, yeah, maybe. Anyway, what happened next? Well, my master thought I needed some air. So he let me outside in the backyard and said, just wait here, I'll be inside cleaning. Then suddenly I spotted my friend across the street and I wanted to go for a walk to sniff him a Merry Christmas. So I whined and whined to my master, but even then he just said, just wait, maybe later, Theo. Yeah, so what'd you do this time, Theo? Well, I waited. Phew. For a while. Mm-hmm, yeah, Theo. But then I thought, just wait, it's getting late. It's almost time for dinner, then church, then bed. I want to play now, and if I don't act fast, I might miss my chance. So I dug a teeny tiny hole under the fence and ran really fast across the street to my friend's house just for a quick visit. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then what? And it's not my fault his family opens their presents on Christmas Eve. I mean, I didn't know that's what they were doing until they had already invited me inside. I really had no choice but to wait until they were finished. What was I supposed to do, just get up and leave right in the middle of a loving family gathered to enjoy a cherished tradition? It's Christmas, and that's not how I was raised. My master didn't train me to be a rude house guest, especially around the holidays. But Theo, aren't you forgetting something? You just ran away from your own home and your own loving family on Christmas. You dug a hole under the fence, left the yard without permission, crossed the street without a grown-up, and you didn't even tell anyone where you were going. That's really, really dangerous. I'm sure your master was worried sick, even if it was just a quick visit. Well, that's just it. My friend's family must be rich or something because there were just so many presents. Balls and bones and frisbees and... Theo, it's freezing out here. Can you just, can you hurry up the story, please? Fair enough. Well, long story short, my master noticed I was missing, got worried, went looking, 
found me about 30 minutes later, then brought me back inside and said I can't leave the house again without his permission because I'm grounded, and that I can't open any gifts until Christmas morning, not even my stocking. So now do you see why I've been so down in the dumps? First I had to wait for supper, then I had to wait for water, then my friend's house, then presents, and now UPS. I just feel terrible. There's no worse feeling than waiting. That's why I took matters into my own paws and ordered my own Christmas present. A special delivery just for me that I can open right away. If only that driver would hurry. Theo? Yes? Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but you're a, you're a puppy. That's true. And deliveries cost money. That's true too. But do puppies have any money? No, not usually. That's, that's what I thought. So where exactly did you get this money to pay for this special delivery, my little puppy friend? I mean, even if you did find some spare change in the couch, you, you placed the order today. So you couldn't have placed, paid cash. I mean, un unless you... Uh... Yep, you guessed it. Yeah. Guilty as charged. I may have sort of used my master's card. Theo, that's stealing. And that's a sin not only against your earthly owner, but against your heavenly father. So you mean that whenever we decide to take matters into our own paws and just do whatever we want, whenever we want, instead of waiting and trusting in God, we're really disobeying our master? That's right. You mean wrong. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I know, I know. I've been such a bad boy. I ruined Christmas, broken God's commandments, and racked up quite a bit of damage to my owner, who loves me so much. Theo, but I'm glad I bumped into you, because I'm about to tell you something that will really cheer you up. Really? You see the UPS truck? No, and I can't make the delivery get here any faster. But don't forget, there's an even better gift, and it's already been delivered. Really? What on earth are you talking about? Theo, it's Christmas. This is the time of year when we remember that God the Father sent his only son Jesus into the world for us. Wow, all the way from heaven? Was he grounded too? Not really. I mean, Jesus did walk around on the ground of this earth just like you and me, but he dwelt among us. He wasn't sent down because he was in trouble with his father. He wanted to come. But why? I mean, Jesus is God, so nobody forced him to come. He could have just stayed right there if he wanted. But the minute Jesus was born on earth, he entered a world of trouble. So why bother? That's a very good question, Theo. And the good news is, we have an answer, right here in the Bible. Can I read it for you? Oh yes, please do. I could use a little joy right now. I've been waiting and waiting all day. Great, but just wait. Here it goes. First, this is what the angel Gabriel told Mary before she became pregnant with the baby Jesus, while she was still waiting to be married. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Wow, that's special. Just wait. There's even more. This is what an angel told Mary's soon-to-be husband Joseph in a dream before the birth of the baby Jesus. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save the people from their sins. Wow, that's very special. Just wait, there's more. This is what the angel finally told the shepherds about the delivery of Jesus that very first Christmas. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Wow, now that's what I call a very special delivery. So not only did God make it possible for Mary to give birth to Jesus without being married, but the baby she delivered would also grow up to deliver us from our sins. That's exactly right, Theo. You see, Jesus was sent to earth by his father, not because he was in trouble, but because we were in trouble. He came to save us. You know what? I always thought dogs were man's best friend. But I was wrong. God is. I guess most of the things I've done this Christmas have been pretty selfish. Now that I think about it, I've committed a lot of sins. I certainly don't deserve what I've been waiting for out here. 
but I sure do deserve what's coming to me in there. I haven't disappointed my master this badly since last Easter when I took his Cantbury eggs. I, I think maybe you mean Cadbury eggs? Well, whatever they're called, he was pretty upset when he finally found them in the garden. I've been such a bad boy lately. I can't remember the last time I felt this sorry. Oh, really, Theo? That's great. How's that great? Because when we're truly sorry for our sins, we can ask for forgiveness. And God promises to always hear us and always forgive us. All we have to do is ask. That's the whole reason Jesus was born at Christmas, to live a perfect life for us. Because we couldn't. And to go to the cross. To forgive our sins. And to rise from the dead. So that we could be welcomed home to live with him forever in heaven. Because just as the angel said, he will save his people from their sins. You're right, that did cheer me up. I don't know why I've wasted so much time out here in the cold waiting for this silly package, because it's not gonna make me feel any better, at least not really. Now I realize the reason I feel bad is really because I've been so bad. What I need is far more precious, a very special delivery. The love of Jesus who was sent by God and delivered as a little baby to deliver me from my sins. I need the Christmas gift of God's forgiveness. That's so true, Theo. We all do. Jesus is the greatest gift of all. Well, what are we waiting for? Christmas is here. A Savior has been born, and he is Christ the Lord. Angelica, will you pray with me? Sure, Theo. I'd love to. Great. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being delivered for us as a baby in Bethlehem to deliver us from sin. Please forgive me and help me to remember the very special delivery of your birth, not only this Christmas, but for the rest of my life until you bring me home to heaven. In your holy name, amen. Amen. That was a beautiful prayer, Theo. I'm so glad you finally got what you were waiting for. Me too. I guess it's always hard to wait for something great, but yet the greatest things are always worth waiting for, like the birth of Jesus at Christmas. There's no better feeling than being forgiven. Absolutely. But I am still curious what exactly you ordered, Theo. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. A box of chocolate bunnies. But I think bunnies are for Easter. Uh, and besides, you're a puppy, so you can't eat chocolate. I know that. But they're not for eating. They're for chasing. See, I'm not that fast, but the chocolate ones are much easier to catch. I, I guess that makes sense, Theo. Thanks for sharing God's word with me. Learning about love and joy is just what I needed. And now that I've been forgiven by God, I'm going to go say I'm sorry to my master. Give him those silly bunnies and let him know that I'm only asking for one thing this Christmas. Oh, yeah? What's that? His forgiveness. Mm. Good boy, Theo. Here, Theo. Come on in. Come here, boy. Oh, that's him now. I better get going. No problem. We can talk more tonight after church. Don't be late. Who do you think you're talking to? I can't wait. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.
Good evening. Merry Christmas. The prayers of the church. Let us say thank you to God for sending his son Jesus to us. For the beauty of Christmas, lighted trees, surprised faces, family celebrations, close friends, and Christmas music. Thank you, Lord, for being the light of the world. For the love shared in our homes, in our church, and in our community. Thank you, Lord, for being our loving friend. For the freedom and peace we enjoy in our country and for those who work to make peace in the world. Thank you, Lord, for being the Prince of Peace. For the people of every race and nation who celebrate your Christmas message tonight. Thank you, Lord, for being our wonderful counselor. For knowing that Jesus will come again, and for help now as shine as lights in the world. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We now have our offering. Please rise. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. 
This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. You may be seated.
Please rise. Now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you in the true faith unto life everlasting. Depart in peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, as once you came at your blessed birth, so in this sacrament you have come down to save. Come still once more, complete your gracious visitation, lift us up to be with you forevermore. Amen. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. God is light, and in him is no darkness. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me 
will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As the light of these candles illumines our faces, may it symbolize the light of the gospel, which shines on us from the face of Christ, who was once a child in the manger at Bethlehem, and which one day will shine on us directly from his throne on high in the city which needs no candles nor sun. We who with veiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with an ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Good Lord bless and keep, cause his face on you to shine. Look on you with favor deep, granting you his peace divine. sing Silent Night.
Christ is born. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.